Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, from past two to three months, I've been uploading a lot of videos specifically related to generative AI. And there I've actually used different, different frameworks like Langchain, Llama Indexed, use multiple different foundation models. Whenever a new foundation model is probably coming up, I'm actually also showing your demo, how you can actually use it for creating an end-to-end -end applications, you know, and with respect to all these kind of foundation models, I've shown how you can also fine tune with your own custom data set and many more things. Now, uh, based on all these videos, I've seen like many, many people have also made successful career transition. I've been getting a lot of messages and they are really appreciating the specific playlist. Now, considering this, I had a conversation with them and I asked like what more things are specifically required in the industry or what all work they are actually doing. Then they had actually requested for creating uh, a playlist specifically on implementing generative AI apps or applications in cloud platforms cloud platform basically means uh, in azure in aws or in google cloud so considering this i'm going to probably start this specific series uh, uh, i'm going to start two parallel series two specific playlists one is in azure ai services or specifically if i talk about azure open ai services i'm going to use over there and what all things are there with, with respect to images with respect to text all those kind of applications i'm going to develop through that the second one is probably probably working with uh, AWS SageMaker and trying to show you how you can actually create an end-to-end -end Gen AI application. Uh, it will be including fine-tuning, it will be including deployment, it will be including endpoints and many more things. One very important thing that I'm actually going to cover in all the specific playlist is about how you can actually do the fine-tuning. Along with that, how you can take it to the deployment path till the production phase, how you can do the entire deployments, how you can come up with this entire amazing techniques of LLM platform, LLM ops. Okay. So it was ML ops before now LLM ops specifically where we will be working with this kind of LLM models itself. Uh, if I compare Azure and AWS, see, since you know that uh, Microsoft is investing a huge amount of money in OpenAI, right? So definitely all the services that are specifically available with respect to OpenAI will also be available in this Microsoft Azure. So most of the models that we'll be seeing will be uh, related to uh, uh, this OpenAI itself in the Azure cloud itself. But if I consider AWS, like you have AWS SageMaker, you have um, uh, in AWS SageMaker specifically, if I talk about there are different, different foundation models, both open source, both cloud, play, paid source, everything, those kind of models are also there, right? Mostly they charge with respect to the inferencing and with respect to the paid models, uh, they will be charging based on the number of requests, right? So I will be covering both these things. And later on, once I probably upload some n number of videos, later on, we'll also be seeing how we can use uh, Google Cloud or how we can use Google Vertex for creating all this kind of Gen AI application where we will try to also use uh, Google Gemini Pro 1.5, right? So all these models, obviously, till now I have shown you everything with respect to development, like how we can develop it in a coding environment itself. But again, my main aim is to take it to the production. And that is super important because in companies, when you probably go, they definitely will be requiring all those things to, uh, you will be requiring all those things to impress the interviewers, right? So all these techniques will probably be getting covered. Okay. Now, one of the common question that I usually get whenever I start any series, any series of playlists, right? Like what are the prerequisites? See guys, with respect to prerequisite, obviously knowledge of NLP is required, right? You really need to have a good knowledge of NLP because here it is more about implementation thing, but theoretical implementation, theoretical understanding. If I say word embedding, if I probably say vectors, you should be able to understand all those things, right? So all those videos and playlists I've already created. So that foundation is definitely required. First is your Python programming language, NLP in machine learning, NLP in deep learning. You should really know how does a transform work? What is word embeddings? What are the different kinds of word embeddings? At least some hands-on experience with hugging face, at least some hands-on experience with some of the common web frameworks like Langchain, Llama Index and all, right? So 
if you are following my playlist if you are following me if you are following my content i think you should never have a problem with respect to that because i always make sure that i plan my content in a specific way that initially all the basic things is basically shown it to you and later on we keep on building amazing applications as we go ahead right so that is the first prerequisite that you really need to have right all the necessary things before we start the specific thing the second thing that i really want as a prerequisite is that see guys um, you need to have azure account and aws account i know people will be saying krish we don't have credit card we don't have this we don't have that try to try to see it guys because see uh, many many people right will try to take this as an experience if you have worked little bit or not i'm not saying that invest 100 200 dollars every month no right hardly with 10 dollars i will try to create a videos in such a way that both in azure account or in aws account hardly with respect to 10 dollars we will go with the pay as you go services we i will try to show you all the services that is probably required and maximum amount of money will just go with respect to fine tuning and for that also i will take care that i'll take a smaller data set so that much charges will not happen from your side right and at the end of the day every video that i will be creating i'll be making sure that i'll stop that services in front of you right so it is important you really need to have an aws account and azure account because i'm telling you guys if you sincerely follow this and nowadays companies are, are wanting the skills generative ai something or ai something that will probably be included in every tech stack you cannot run away out of it you know tomorrow anywhere that you probably go every tech stack that is involved you have to work generative ai or ai skill sets is going to come over there right so it is good that we basically know with respect to all the cloud platforms also see aws azure everywhere generative ai, AI something is basically included over there right so it is important you really need to have these two specific accounts without these two accounts you cannot probably go and even check it out because all because we will be developing everything in the cloud platform itself right so this is the second prerequisite the third prerequisite is that if you are learning right please make sure that you be dedicated in it right when in terms of implementation in terms of sharing knowledge in terms of building solutions in terms of building projects and share it with the entire world your online credibility is very much important you know because people will come and ask you like how you can actually do it companies can come and give you some freelancing work many people will come and refer you right unless and until they don't see the talent and in this age where you have an internet right I think there is a huge scope of showcasing your talent throughout the world right? and that is important right I've seen many people hey Krish I, there is no jobs with respect to data science some people are able to crack three to four jobs how they are able to do it because they keep on working on it right so just don't keep on complaining instead it is your life it is you who has to probably take it forward so it is who you basically who has to work hard so definitely keep on working hard keep on doing well with respect to this unless and until you don't devote your 100 percent or 120 percent trust me it is not going to work out so this is a request from my side any playlist that you probably follow please focus and learn it in a separate way right a way that can you can actually create a differentiated skill right and just don't follow my playlist only see after completing my playlist always keep on looking for more and more examples build more solutions right so yes uh, this was it for my side one last request guys as you all know a lot of efforts is there in developing all this kind of videos and projects so please make sure that you keep on supporting please do make sure that you subscribe the channel uh, press the bell notification icon and yes i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye